Yes, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 4th to the 10th of April. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Aquarius, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. All right, so your challenge Aquarius is a star. Wow, okay. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups in reverse. All right, so Aquarius, your biggest challenge moving forward for this coming week is the star. So this is about a lot of things. The star can mean a lot of things, but what I'm intuitively picking up is your healing process. It's been very challenging to maybe get to this place of, you know, um, healing, taking care of yourself, self-love, self-catering. Uh, for some of you, this could have a lot to do with maybe finding it difficult or challenging to make plans for the future or determine what it is that you want to do in the future. We're going to clarify the star and see why it's your challenge in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Hierophant, the Three of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. I'm really strongly getting here in the recent past. There was something here about you feeling very tied into something you're committed to. So either you're committed to a job, a relationship, a family situation, there's something here that you were tied to. You were 100% committed to it, but you also felt like you were in confinement or you felt like you were just kind of forcing yourself to be in this situation. You may have felt alone in the recent past. And as a result of that, there was a desire to release yourself. It's like, I wanna release myself. I wanna be free from this situation. And some of you decided to travel in the recent past or disconnect, or maybe you made plans to maybe disconnect from the situation in the recent past. We're gonna clarify this and see more in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Ace of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. So I'm feeling in the present moment you are prepared to have some sort of new beginning it's like you're on a mission you know exactly what you want you are currently going through a major transformation and one of the things that i noticed in your previous readings and by the way the previous readings are always connected to the new readings that come out for many of you right now in the present moment you're going through a major life shift like you're going through a transformation you're going from the knight of swords energy which we see here in the present moment which is very much connected to the eagle you see the eagle here it's like you're freeing yourself you're soaring in the present moment and you're getting to this place of the king of swords energy which is the stability grounded know exactly what you want cutting through the fog and that's what's leading to this brand new beginning that you want to have and we're going to find out more about this new beginning for you when we clarify in the near future you have the four of cups the two of wands and the five of cups so i'm really strongly getting in the near future for many of you there's definitely a decision that you have to make this decision has a lot to do with a painful sad event or situation that takes place however there is a silver lining here even though you feel like someone here rejected you or someone here wasn't interested could it be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces you choose to move towards the light here in the near future you choose to maybe get to this place of realizing you know what this isn't the end i have other things that i can do i have other things that i can accomplish and achieve and that's what i feel like you're realizing here in the near future now what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck you have the queen of cups the seven of swords the Knight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and you have the Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, so what you don't see coming for many of you, I'm really strongly getting that there's something here about wanting to move into a brand new direction. The reason why a brand new direction hasn't really necessarily happened for many of you is because there's something here about someone coming back. Okay, it could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm getting actually all signs here. All signs are here. So the sign doesn't really matter. It's the energy. Somebody here has chosen to be on and off with you. I do feel like there was some um, sort of situation that was found out here in the past. Someone here lied or they were deceptive here in the past. And as a result of lying or being deceptive here in the recent past, it did affect your relationship with them. But even though somebody here walked away or disconnected from the situation, they still came back. Okay, so somebody here was still committed to this. Even though lies, deception was revealed, 
and there was a lot of um a lack of growth here or a lack of value here in the recent past and it actually led to a lot of sadness and there's something here about not being happy and satisfied. And that's why a lot of you didn't move into a new direction because you could have thought in the back of your mind, oh, well, things will work out. It, you know, it's like Gemini reading. It's like, oh yeah, things will just work out. But the truth is, you know, there is a process in life where we just need to confront the issues that are showing up in our lives and choose whether or not we're still going to hold on to something or not. And I think that what you don't see coming is you may realize that the reason why you can't have the new beginning that you want is because you're still holding on to something here that you know you need to let go of. Okay, so this is what you don't see coming. Now, let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify the star. Oop. Let's clarify the star, which is your challenge. So the star is clarified by the magician. You have the queen of swords and the five of wands. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with the fact that there was some sort of conflict between you and a specific person. The reason why it's been difficult to manifest what it is that you want, uh, Aquarius, is because for many of you, part of your healing process has a lot to do with resolving some sort of conflict that you've had with a specific person. This is about you sitting down with yourself, getting through this energy that has really been affecting your mind. There's some Thing here that's been in your mind like ongoing 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 and you've been really wanting to try to make sense of the situation so i'm really strongly getting for many of you with the five of wands there's still some sort of conflict that you still need to heal from there's still some sort of conflict that you still possibly need to be open to resolving and that's what's going to allow you to be able to manifest what it is that you want if you continue to hold on to resentment or you continue to hold on to some sort of situation here that you know you need to cut through in order to make sense of a conflict that may be what is required in order for you to completely enter into your healing phase and get back to this place of manifesting what it is that you want. All right, so let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is clarified by, you have the Four of Cups, the Death, and the Ace of Pentacles. So in the recent past, for many of you, I'm really strongly getting that within an ending that happened for you, which again, involved a lot of rejection, a lot of uncertainty, boredom. There's something here about you being stuck in a situation that you didn't really like, you found very bored. There was an opportunity here maybe to move on to something bigger and better. Tell me more about the Three of Wands for Aquarius in the recent past. So the three of wands is clarified by the devil, the high priestess and the 10 of wands. Yeah. In the recent past, you wanted to disconnect yourself spiritually from something here that was really burdensome. It started to become toxic. This was something here you were committed to. And you may have felt very stuck in this situation in the past, really trying to ask yourself, where is the opportunity in this negative situation that I'm in? There must be an opportunity here because you were very much heavily committed to something here that maybe you didn't really like or enjoy. And that's why you were seeking some sort of bigger and better opportunity here in the past. Now, in the present moment, like I said, you are going through a major uh, transformation. Some of you are going through the rising of the Phoenix. I try, I highly recommend that you check online what the rising Phoenix is, because like I said, I feel like you're going through a transition. Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. You're definitely going through some sort of major transition. What's the important message here for Aquarius in the present moment? All right, so the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords at the same time is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Hermit. So your focus right now, your main focus is on your career, on your success, on the direction that your career is going to take moving forward. Or if this isn't about your career, this could have a lot to do with the changes that are happening within your personal life after some sort of breakup or after some sort of disconnect. Now, for many of you, 
you there is an opportunity here in the present moment for you to work things out with a specific person it could be a fire sign leo sagittarius aries i'm also getting a virgo here a capricorn maybe a taurus so either way there's two spaghetti um spaghetti i was gonna say some of you may be eating spaghetti there may be some sort of specific opportunities here in the present moment after you've gone through a transition and it looks like it's going to lead to a lot of success but you're still in this place of what it means for you to actually have this brand new beginning so what is this brand new beginning all about for aquarius in the present moment Okay, so the Ace of Wands is clarified by the Sun, the Eight of Wands, and the Hangman. So in the present moment, I'm really strongly getting that someone here wants to talk about what it's going to take to have a new beginning with you. For many of you, you're trying to have a new beginning, but you feel stuck. And if you're someone who's watching this and you're saying, yeah, Monica, I feel stuck. I want to move into a new direction. The first thing is I'm getting two stories. The first thing is, is you have to be extremely careful what you say and how you say it, because your words actually hold a lot of power and it's going to determine, you know, it's going to determine an Aquarius whether or not you can free yourself from a situation to be able to actually have some sort of new beginning that you seek and you want you need to remain positive especially in the present moment because the transition that you're going through has not been easy and transitions usually are not easy they're meant to help you grow and move to this place of being the person that you actually are that's the first thing the second thing here is that someone here wants to talk about why action has not been taken in order to have some sort of new beginning and the question is here are you open to hearing what this person has to say and this could have a lot to do with someone here that you've had a conflict with okay so this is what i'm seeing in the present moment now in the near future for many of you there is a very important decision that you have to make this decision that you have to make has a lot to do with the path that you're choosing to take in your life now of course there's always two options you have you can go down the yellow brick road or you can go down the red brick road. It's up to you. You are your own person and you can decide accordingly. So we're going to find out more about that in a moment. I want to clarify the five of cups. Why is it here for Aquarius in the near future? So the five of cups is clarified by you have the knight of swords the emperor and the eight of swords so for many of you in the near future i'm really strongly getting the reason why you're choosing to uh disconnect from something here and by the way this situation that you're disconnecting from in the near future was very stable it may have been something here that really brought you the stability that you seek but because you started to feel restricted in the past it's showing up again in the near future this restriction energy and what is really interesting for many of you is is that pluto is going to be entering into your sign even though this is a weekly reading pluto is going to be entering into your sign so a lot of you subconsciously feel changes that are coming into your life and that's why you may be choosing to disconnect from something here that you know eventually you're going to disconnect from now tell me more about this decision that aquarius has to make in the near future with the two of wands the two of wands is clarified by the nine of swords you have the five of wands and the page of wands so in the near future for many of you you're moving into a brand new direction the reason why you're choosing to move into this new direction and, and let it be known is because you're tired of being in fear and anxiety in the near future. You start to stand up for what it is that you want. And another thing I see here, Aquarius, is you're not going to be taking just any offer. You know exactly who you are. You know exactly what you've been through. And for many of you, there's going to be tons of offers that are going to come in for you. But I don't just see you being open to any and, you know, any and all um, opportunities. You're going to be very strategic in terms of what you choose moving forward, especially after you release yourself from something here that you know you feel or you may feel in the near future restricted by you don't want to be in that restrictive energy that's what i'm seeing here in the near future you want to release yourself and that's what i see you doing all right so let's get some advice what is the advice The advice for you is a judgment, the two of pentacles and the lovers. The biggest piece of advice for you, Aquarius, is to decide what love means to you moving forward. 
is the relationship that you're in the one for you? And again, it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be something here that you love doing. You know, are you just doing it to be in the motion or are you doing it because you really like it? There's something here in your life that you need to really look at, that you've committed yourself to, that you've been obsessed with, that you've been very much attached to. And there's something here about rebalancing things in your relationship. And by you rebalancing certain things in your relationship, you're going to be able to really connect with the why something here needs to change. Something here is changing or will need to change and it is trying to get your attention. And by you really looking at things for what they are, that's gonna help you to make an important decision that you may need to make moving forward, which is very much a part of your awakening, okay? So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.